Protocol Live, episode eight. I'm about to go out of my mind because I'm only two away to 10 episodes of Protocol Live. Tonight, we've got a new degenerate in the house, Johnny J. Chain Reamer. Train, chain, train. train. I'm getting close. <laughs> train. <right>? Yeah. <laughs> we haven't, really, call we haven't even started drinking yet. <laughs> so, welcome, John, to the show. We got uh, another jam packed episode. Uh, I'm really happy that they're happening more frequently. So uh, we'll get into uh, what's been going on with protocol a lot since the last episode, surprisingly, but uh, full schedule now in the new year. So we're super excited. So before we even go there, for, uh, for those of you out there that might not know this beautiful man to my right, my right but probably let's see your <laughs> left, right? That's how it yeah, go. you can just say the actual. This is John Reamer. He is a good friend of us, of ours, excuse me, a good friend of ours. He also works for uh, CI, but everything he says uh, has in no way, no bearing, no, uh, how does that go? No, <laughs> my opinion is not those of CI or whatever. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> not at all. But he has become, slowly becoming the face of uh, Cigars International. He's, uh, you know, anytime you uh, open up Facebook or the internets, you see him doing videos. Actually, he did a great video of the Sir Robert Peel, right? Yeah. That was yeah, a pretty cool fun. video. And it's actually one, what you're smoking right now. That's a very special Sir Robert Peel. Tell the people what that is you're smoking. This is a Sir Robert Peel Maduro. Um, from what I'm told, it's a special. That's Robert the owner's Peel. size. The it's owner's the size. Owner's size. Yes, the double Corona. Yes. Here's the double Coronas. Yep. Very nice. Very nice. But he's also kind of almost part owner at this point of Caravan Cigar Company. Just look at the shirt he's wearing. Yeah. <laughs> he closes there up the shop. He works for them on the side. It's, there uh, I can, it's yeah. Like, there you go. This guy actually has the keys to the shop. Like, he, he sleeps does. there sometimes, you know, if he stays <laughs> too late. But Brian's always looking because uh, uh, Reamer hears the camera click every once in a while, right? When you oh, hear yes. the camera clicks on, you know, well, he's they, watching. Yeah, they're keeping me honest. That's all right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Making sure I'm not... Having a place filled with make, stri- make strippers. Sure you're not cooking, <laughs> make sure you're not cooking meth. Yeah, cooking like meth your, having strippers. Uh, like the character you look like, everybody yeah. says. Yes, not bringing yeah, any girls yeah, from get that a million. The Even I'm sure Halloween didn't help any in the Walter White outfit. <laughs> We're like so set up kind of towards height. For like, those look at, that... Look at how John and I are kind of like height and Juan, you know, your chair is very high and then Tristan's like an alien up here. Tristan, lower your chair a little for those bit. That yeah. don't, there, there you there go. Yeah. For, for those of you that do not know John Reamer, he has a specialty. Like uh, you've heard that I have a specialty. I do uh, old fashions, which I do pretty decently. I like them. You know, even though they're not keto, I haven't been drinking them in a while. But I do miss them. My friend over here does a uh, different little take on the old fashioned. Uh, John, can you explain what it is you make for the people that they love so much? My favorite drink, which anyone that has been to caravan or anywhere i'm at now and i have the uh, stuff available it's the uh the manhattan i love a manhattan i'm doing a different take on it because when you're at uh, the shop and you got 30 people asking you for a manhattan you can't make them all i prefer it up as you know in, in the glass Could you explain what up is to the up people? is uh it's it's more like a cocktail glass you chill the glass with ice you're making your stuff off to the side empty the glass you're using your bitters you're using your cherries of course, not just cherries. And this oh, is no. a plug. I know the, we're not getting special, anything. <laughs> special cherries. Luxardo cherries. Can, they want a sponsor can you share with it. the people how much, a, how much a, a bottle of that cherry is? Yeah, these cherries, this jar, <laughs> this small jar is $21 if you go in, in an area, in Pennsylvania tw- area. You heard it right, $21. $21. But believe me, if you're... But it makes a difference. It it's makes the a huge Luxardo difference. quality. It's and, amazing. Uh, it nothing does. but the best here at uh, Protocol Headquarters. <laughs> so you your in bitters. sunny Newark, New, York, New, New Jersey. Jersey. <laughs> yes. And, yes. of course, your Martini and Rossi, sweet vermouth. Could you explain to the people that I said that the uh, Old Fashioned and the Manhattan are very similar? Can you explain the, the, the differences of each to the people so they can know? Yeah, the, the Old Fashioned, which this guy is famous for, is uh, he's, you're using a lot of the same stuff except the simple syrup is, is like somewhat of the difference. And, of course, the uh, orange peel that Juan toasts perfectly. <laughs> um, but it is uh, whiskey-wise, like uh, some people use bourbon. Me, I'm a fan of rye, so, and so yeah, sure we use that too. Yeah, today we're not using our typical uh, bullet. You know, this is uh, 
This is some pretty good Canadian yeah. wine. It's Canadian yeah. club, which this is this will work perfect. Yeah. Yeah, you're mixing it. Yeah. Right. But like so I said, wait, but you don't put vermouth in a. No, 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 you do not. Okay. No. So, so the difference the is vermouth. The only, so the true only difference would you say is the vermouth is substituted uh, for the more or less the, the simple it, syrup. Yeah. Okay. And I didn't go to bartending school or nothing. I just picked this up, just making them and seeing bartenders make. Same them, thing so. with me. Like I started, you know, a few years back. I just had my first old fashioned. I fell in love with it, and it's funny. It's such a simple drink to make. Very simple ingredients, but the you know you go to so many different places, and that's like they screw it up. And there have been a few times I've actually had to send them a drink back. And then I started making them in my house, and you know, and like sometimes these people make the, they're making smoothies. They smush the uh, cherries with the oranges yeah. together. It's a disaster. Yeah, I've I've seen people take the cherry in my drink and squish the cherry and drop it uh, in. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, you got to no, be kidding me. No. But uh, but the old fashioned, you want to turn me on to the old fashioned, except you, is uh, watching all you Mad Men fans out there. Don Draper, one of his favorite drinks, mm. was uh, the old fashioned. It's a great uh, so, tidbit of knowledge there. But I prefer that. over That's the two. I, I prefer the uh, Manhattan. That's just my wheelhouse. Yeah, like and you make a lot of them at Caravan, and oh they man, are a hit. He, well, he goes just these. like Juan makes the old yeah, fashioned. Yes. yes, you make a lot of them. Yeah, that yeah. Uh, the Fat Ash Bash pre-party, I think I made 30 of them. Wow. And like I said, <laughs> to all the bartenders out there, when you see me make these things, it is no way professional. It's quick. <laughs> it gets the drink out there to 30 people standing behind. Can you make me one? Can you make me one? Yeah. It's like, yeah, sure. I'm actually going to show, you, a lot I'm gonna show you a trick. Would you mind getting it for me, Tristan? It's right over there. Absolutely, pal. Don't take so, your headphones off. Take, yeah, correct. <laughs> I've seen so, people leave with them on. Rima, we share a uh, the same issue where uh, sometimes. So we use these for events, like uh, you know, just to th- say thank you for guys that coming out to our events. We make them an old fashioned, and let's say in a night you're doing thirty old fashions. Instead of doing thirty individual old fashions, I was walking through a uh, uh, Walmart today and I came up with this idea. So what we're going to do from now on is instead of making 30 individuals, I'm just going to make this one giant big jug of it where it has a spot over here so people can pour. Let me see if it's, it, it, you see, see it like that, you pour. And then this way, I can entertain the people and be a clown and I have to spend 10 minutes making a drink. What do you think about that idea? I think it's a great idea because it's <laughs> it's very time consuming. I think that would be awesome for Brian Lewis to uh, purchase one. It's only like $12 at Walmart. And this way you just make a big jug and you know, everybody brings in, whoever wants it, brings in a, 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 a bottle of rye and you throw it in there. You, you, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be hit a miss until you get the proportions. But once yeah. you... Just knock out a whole big one, and people just get the ice and they pour it in. And I this like way, it. you're yeah. not you're not a slave to everybody that's there. You're making th- <clears throat> think about it. Each one takes three minutes times thirty. You're spending an hour and a half. That's probably not the right math, but I don't care. It takes a while. Yeah, like I said, but you're spending time that pe- you could, people here came to see John Rima. Not I get it. They want a, 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 a what is, what's it called? A, a Johnny Manhattan. Yeah, Johnny Johnny, Johnny Manhattan. Manhattan. Yes. They want a Johnny Manhattan. Yes, but they also want Johnny there. Johnny, t- tell the, the good people what else is one of your hobbies besides making I was gonna uh, go there. making ov- um, uh, Johnny Manhattans. Hobbies? Yes, a big a car- hobby. A caravan. A caravan. When one you're of your not making pastimes. Manhattans, what are you watching on TV? Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, lots of I was like, oh dear God. Um, anyone who comes in there or even seen my sees my post knows Correct. I'm a. Uh, horse gambling degenerate. Uh, nothing, <laughs> nothing big. We do uh, like a two dollar winning place each race, and and uh, getting everybody into it. And like oh, I said, all the guys man. that come in a caravan. Some nights we got the whole place screaming for a four dollar bet. It's 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 oh, awesome. It's amazing. So if you've never been there, like when they do Thursday night therapy, it's a blast. It really is. And then sometimes I'm there on a Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> well, and Mondays when they're yeah, closed. Yeah, when they're closed and keys. I got the keys. I was there every day last week between going after snowboarding, the I don't know, Thursday night therapy. I woke up at my mom and dad's, went back down for Friday for a little bit. And then uh, Sunday we did the Smoky Marys over at Brian's. Yeah, that was a big hit too. I got to yeah. say though, everybody wanted the horse racing on instead of the AFC championship. Yes, yes, they did. Yeah, it's it's a fun time so. watching John scream at the horses. It's hilarious. Yeah, it's at the uh, but you've won some money. You've won some money oh, too yes. on a four dollar bet. Some of these yeah. horses come in big. At the confidential informant event, 
in downtown Bethlehem, they have these beautiful uh, horse buggies that take people's family around historic downtown <laughs> Bethlehem, right? You know, Christmas City. So the horses are going by. I take my phone out, take a picture, and I send it to John. Who, who's winning this race? He goes, the white stag. What was your, some, what was your response, the white stag? No, yeah, no, the white yeah. nag. The white nag. <laughs> the white nag. <laughs> I said that horse in, on, down in Main Street in Bethlehem ran faster than the one I had <laughs> out at uh, Charlestown in the fifth. Oh, Christ. So. Oh, oh yes, man. it's a fun time there. Watch yeah, we were, we were actually places. doing it at the, the Fat Ash Bash, the TV. Um, I heard about that. Oh, my God. Speaking of the Fat Ash Bash, that brings us right into one of our topics here on my topic. Good pad. segue, John. The Fat Ash <laughs> You're a good Bash host. 3.0 recap. Let's talk about that for a second. Uh, Tristan, you were there the whole time, so we'll go Tristan, myself, Johnny, and... Uh, and Kevo. Oh, it was a fantastic little time there. I showed up only fashionably 15 minutes late. So that was a good time. Uh, <laughs> no, it's, it's a long day. There yes. was no real start time. You weren't Brooklyn Brett that got there at 9 a.m. <laughs> I started it Shout with, out to Brooklyn. Yes. yes. That guy's an animal. I, love him. I started out with. Uh, Don't start that. We're actually going to give you a full segment where oh, we're going to key up on you. Okay. Uh, and, we got and, it. and you're going to teach everybody the how to make it. doesn't have a home. drink. Give him a little something to start. Here, try oh, have a little bit of this. You know what? For the amount of prep work Kevin did today, I got to say Juan in protocol fashion continues to do everything <laughs> off the cuff. I love it. I love it. Go ahead, Tristan. Go. So, and talk about the bash. Speaking of Juan Cancel and Juan Cancel fashion, I started off with a Juan fashion. So I got myself a nice little old fashion. So uh, I got there. I think it was about ten thirty. I wanted to be there early, uh, just to kind of. I know they started. So I wanted to be there for the first sale. So I was actually like ten o'clock. I think I, I was there for when uh, Brooklyn Brat actually bought the first uh, boxes of cigars. But I wanted to be there early, um, just to support the Fat Ash people and be there and meet and greet, shake hands, kiss babies, all that stuff. But uh, I was supposed to be the guest bartender. But last year, yeah, that, that didn't happen. The, you know what happened? To, uh, Tracy, one of the bar managers, kept that. You want to go start? I was like, so what I did is I went and I actually showed the bartender how to make a wine old fashioned. And she tried the first one. She got it. Very different than what they make. So everybody was raving about it. But I found that it, that being a bartender was cool, was kind of different, but it took me away from the people. And I'm all about interacting with the people and having laughs. And I found that. Me going back there for two or three hours, making drinks, you know, it's really, it's cool, but in the same token, it's like take me taking away from myself having a good time, number one, and number two, more importantly, is interacting. And like this year, I had a lot of more interaction. A lot of more. Let's see <laughs> a lot of more. Yeah. <laughs> a lot more interaction. It's a, it's a Spanglish he speaks. We, we all have a high school education, at least, so. <laughs> I'll go to John Raymer with that. <clears throat> J-Train. Your first one, right? My first one, as you know, the, the first bash, and I'm sure everyone heard the story by now. First bash, um, I had to work. There was no way to get off, so I couldn't make it. So the second one came around, and a couple days before, I'm pumped, ready to go. And then my gallbladder decided to take a <laughs> dump. So yeah. I was in uh, surgery yeah. while the fat ash bash was going, going on, so I wasn't making it. So this one, thank God I made it, and it was great seeing everyone there. Did you have I, a glorious time? It was, yeah, too, uh, too many of these, <laughs> as you can see. I, I, I wanted to pace myself, but uh, like some of the horses I bet on, I, I I was done by the third turn. I was coming around because I started at noon, and uh, but it was a blast. I had a great time. It was actually pretty funny. They actually had the ponies on one of the, cha- the one of the TVs. Yeah, they put there. it on for John. Yeah, That's yeah. Awesome. Johnny. That was pretty good. Yeah. Come yeah, on. so I got there a little bit later. It's a long event. I appreciate Juan going early and greeting everybody that walked through the door. But when I got there, it was starting to fill up. I think I got there around, like, noon. I got there a little bit earlier than I thought. I thought I was going to get there, like, 1 or 2, but I did get there around noon. And, uh, you know, the place was hopping. More people seemed to roll in a little bit closer to the evening and then, you know, faded off around, I don't know, 10 o'clock. We were still going pretty good because we went out and got breakfast <laughs> at 1 o'clock in the morning. So yes, we closed the I place down. Oh. Yeah, that was great. The Nazareth uh, Diner. Oh, I started drinking amazing. very late in the day because I wanted to kind of pace myself. I didn't want to become a wreck. So I, but I think overall I was pretty... Oh, you were well-behaved. Right? Okay. Very well-behaved. I was impressed, yeah. yes. And I stuck to beer. I was going to go to whiskey, and I was like, yeah, that's probably a bad idea. So I... Uh, I've I, actually done some good. research. They say when you're on keto for a long time, and like your tolerance goes down. That's why maybe like I, I can't drink like I usually do, and, and I, if I, but I'm used to drinking a certain way. Yeah. Uh, you know what it is? It's the weight, too. 
because when I was when I was heavier, I could drink like a fish. Mm -hmm. And since I lost all the weight, it's like yeah, now if you drink a few, it. and next thing I know, I'm like, it has something to do with the way your body processes even like the simple sugars that are in things. Like when you're in ketosis, mm -hmm. your body processes things differently. Is I, what you're saying? I, I think so. I mm -hmm. I'm not a keto expert by any means. Let's uh, put that, that out to Brad White. Conversation. When we finally get this thing live, and we have live comments coming in. We can ask the audience. That's but a we good can't homework right assignment. We could try to do that. Maybe I could. Do it I could. Live on, yeah, on, I would do a couple of test runs on a yeah. private facebook thing or a, a, sorry youtube maybe facebook i don't know you guys let us know what medium you'd like that to be on or maybe you don't want to see us live i don't know so juan what's next up on our list i think right now would be a great time to do the uh johnny manhattan tut tutorial okay let's do it all right i'm gonna, gonna move this out the way yes let's do this and if uh, like we said last time oh and by the way john there's like millions of people that see this stream so oh, cool. there's a lot of people that don't don't know you oh if you believe that, I'll tell you another oh, one. Cool. But so, yeah, if you come to uh, Thursday night therapy or Caravan, pretty much any night of the week that they're open, maybe Johnny will make you a Johnny I'll man. Tell you what, a as he's doing that, real quick, uh, my production, one of my production team just handed me a very important note, and I'm going to read it. It's a very <laughs> uh -oh. good point. There. So for the Fat Ash Bash 3.0, Cubariqueño uh, presented its third uh, limited release production of the Fat Ash cigar. So we call it the Fat Ash Year Three. This year is a uh, six by fifty with a pigtail, Mexican San Andreas, beautiful cigar. There's about fifty bundles left out of the original two hundred and fifty bundles that were put out there. I spoke to Nikki. It's online, so if you go to fa uh, famoussmokeshop.com and then you search Fat Ash, you're gonna it's gonna come up, and it's a phenomenal cigar. And once that part actually might be in my opinion the best patola we've done so far. Just that Mexican San Andreas really shines on it, and there's only like 50 bundles. Once those are gone, those are gone. So you have opportunity to get those if you go to uh, FamousSmokeShop.com. All right, guys. Awesome. Absolutely. All right, again, I'm not a professional. Right. <laughs> I'm going to say that right now. Okay. I'm going to do it the way I do it. At Caravan, I'm going to, like, uh, 20 people behind me, and they all want drinks. So what I do, grab the glass. It has to be a glass. If, glass. You, if you give him a plastic cup, he will not make I won't, it. I won't make your drink. Yep. Good thing there's only three so, people here waiting. So let me do this. <laughs> Bitters, one, two, three. Shake around a little bit, and like I said, show it Boom. high, high and proud in front of that ashtray. Now we have <laughs> ooh, fresh, crack the fresh bottle. Vermouth, and like I said, we're winging it. So we do one, two, ooh. and it's done. Just a little uh. bit. You're not making a vermouth slushy. You're making a Manhattan. Then, of course, the star of the show. Oh yes. This bad boy. And you will get yelled at this. if you do not eat the cherry at the end. You got to eat the cherry. You've got to eat the cherry. For $20 a day, you got to pop that, you you pop that cherry. <laughs> yes. Whether you eat not it, before. smoke it, inhale it, I don't care. We'll sniff it. You're going to eat the cherry. All right. So what I'll do is take the cherry out. And, of course, this is always thick. So give yourself, as they say, Bloody the restaurant hell. thing. Little au jus. Look at that. Put it in there. Bada bang. Hey, here, show it high for the camera. Okay. So the right now we got... Look, look how thick that is. Ooh, I don't know if dripping. you can see it. It'll come up. <laughs> so, next, what I like to do is we have the cubed ice here. Usually it's crushed ice, which it's no big deal. And then, of course, what I like to do is take this. Whiskey, come on. Uh, oh, what a noise. Uh, we caught that. Audio yeah. yeah. guy in the back, we caught that. <laughs> okay, go. boom. Good ah. Then what you do, you take That's this. Gonna be a nice drop. Pop, pop the cherry. Yeah, take this, freshen up a little bit. Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? A little splash will do you. On a side note, tell everybody the cologne you wear that drives the ladies crazy. It's like $300 an ounce. Sex Panther? If, if you never tried it and somebody else here bought it. I did. I got it as a Christmas Creed present. Aventus. It's I'm amazing. Creed Aventus. Yes. I've never got so many compliments by both guys I hey use girls. Axe from Walmart. Yes, it, it works 100% of the time, 70% of the See time. That? And yeah, all I'm doing that is amazing. You're, you're not making a trough of booze, you're making a drink. So, like, halfway is usually. All you guys that don't know what trough is, look it up. Yeah. Google it. That's where horses used to drink out of back in the Western days. <laughs> yes. You know, 10 foot by like three foot filled with water. We're not making troughs, we're making drinks. So, then all you do is stir it. Get that, because you want to stir it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where's that pinky, son? Check that pinky. Uh, no, the pinky's when you drink it, not when you're making it. No, no, the so, wani way. So. See that? Ooh, that sounds like sex in a cup. I'm telling you. Ooh, wow. 
Did it pick it up? <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> Next thing you know. You can put that in there. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. Cheers. Salud. Salud. Welcome to Protocol Live. Glad to be here, guys. Tristan, Thanks cheers. for the invite. I can't cheers. get you. Salud. For those not lucky enough to have a uh, Johnny Manhattan today, awesome. we're having... It's the same thing. Actually, it's the same bottle we had for the last one. This is a 10-cup <laughs> whiskey. Yeah, it was full last yeah. one. It was actually full, yeah, but we're doing good. We're doing some damage yeah. to it. So that, that was very impressive. I uh, want to thank John Rima for coming on and uh, doing that and showing the people how to Glad make to a Johnny Manhattan. Glad to be here. It was pretty awesome. Let's talk shop for a second. Um, let's talk about uh, what's going on in the cigar world, some politics about uh, the cigar I world. I thought you were going to talk about the porn Ooh. set we have going on in here. The what? The, the porn set we've got going on in here. Did he say porns? What? What on did he say? couch? Oh, no. That's no. Uh, I have yes. no idea. Anyway, right, back well, to what we yeah. were saying. Okay. <laughs> oh uh, God, talk some know. shop here. Uh so I want everybody to talk a little bit about the, the PCA. So by now, everybody out there has seen it. You know, it's uh, the big four uh, just uh, left. Uh, they're not going to do the PCA. So now there are companies, uh, uh, you know, it's a big uproar. So uh, just everybody, just maybe talk about it a little bit, see how they feel about it. Tristan, what do you think about the whole thing? I think as the social media director, I'm a pretty face behind a camera, and I shouldn't be commenting on <laughs> for big boy oh, stuff. But as a consumer, as a I mean, consumer, not, yeah. yeah no as a consumer, to be honest whatever. with you, I, it's not going to bother me either way. I mean, if they want to go, they can go. If they don't want to go, they don't want to go. They're lost. That's what I see it as. I would think. It, would it change your opinion on going or not going? No. As, no. Okay. People Las Vegas, baby. All right. You like to go for the Vegas aspect. I like well, that. I do like work on the trade show. That's yeah. always fun. Yes. So, I've often said that, and I told uh, Bill this in the beginning, in the very beginning, when he when we were talking about going to the IPCPR, that once you start going, you can never not go because once you don't go, people are going to say, you know, you're done. And Kaput. there's always that, uh, you know, cigar social media, excuse me, cigar media, puts out that report of companies that are not going this year or they weren't there, and next thing you know, they kind of disappear a lot of the time. So it's a tricky, slippery slope. But uh, now that the four, the big four are not going, and it's not because they're dying or anything. They just whatever, you know, their personal uh, thing, their reasoning for not going, which I, you know, I may not understand but respect it, I still think that people, if they – still want to be in this game and that is still our Super Bowl of this industry and they should go but we'll, you know more about that later we'll do a special announcement later on Rima what's your take and like, of course your opinion does not reflect that of CI now, at all now this is my or, or caravans yeah, my, or yeah this is my <laughs> purely mine um, the first thing I think they should do is now like I said humble opinion if uh, you don't have to go to the event and you're getting the same deals as guys that go to the event I know that was a hot topic too you hear a lot of uh, shop owners say, why the hell should I go? Well, you know what I mean? Or, you know, just different people go out to the show and it's dying. I think they ought to change a little something with that. That, you know, to get the better deals, you should have to go out to the show. That, from that aspect. The other thing is the, uh, the thing that they were bringing up with uh, doing a, uh, a public... A consumer day. A, yeah, consumer day. It's like they have, like, they have the, the, the big smoke. Why do you need Consumer Day? Which well, there's consumer events every weekend yeah, around the country, all over the place. And this now is, what you're doing is you're telling you know as you as a manufacturer now you're going to have to bring in, you know you guys got to bring in say another thousand cigars. I'm just throwing a number out there. And now you got to supply that right. on something you might not have planned the year before. Right. So like I said, humble opinion. You know what they want to do, it's up to them. Just uh, two different views from me. Very yeah. good. Uh, me, you know, I do. Rimmer. We do trade shows in my day job, right? And you make decisions based on your business, and it's really a business decision. Um, I think people are getting emotional about it, but <clears throat> if it didn't make sense from them for a business uh, aspect, then I understand it, and I know people are concerned, and it is our, you know, we're we're trying to keep the cigar business alive, right? Uh, we're fighting the FDA as a joint, you know, effort. So hopefully those companies are going to still support, uh, those efforts, um, moving forward. But yeah, I, I, I get it. I don't fault them. It's a big expense for them. If you saw the size of their booths, if you've ever been or watched the coverage on, you know, half wheel and 
I used to watch it on Stogie Review. Those guys did uh, great coverage back in the day. I think they still do. Um, and Coop and Dojo and everybody else that we follow, um, you know, those, those guys had big expenses to go. So I get it. Sometimes bean counters get involved and they just say, is this really worth our while? And to John's point, I, I do think that if we as a group want to drive attendance, maybe there is if you're at the show, show deal. And maybe there is a show deal if you didn't come to the show. But something for us as, you know, us as brand owners or manufacturers, you know, factories, what could, what could we do to help drive attendance, right? I think we're all in this together, and um, we're going to win it together, not, not independently, right? So that's my take. I like that. That's a good take. Thank um, you. Um, so we're going to make an announcement? No, that's going to be the last thing. That'll be the last thing. The last okay. okay. All right. Uh, let's see. All right. Uh, Wadi looks so enthralled there on your phone, <laughs> by the way. Stop texting and doing social media. We're on a podcast. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Just, <laughs> not, not for nothing. Like, uh, I was, if you guys don't know Abe from Smoking, like, uh, you know, he mentioned the other day that about how this company protocol was probably, you know, built, you know, not probably, it was built on social media. This social media thing, sometimes a full-time job, man. People don't really get it. Like, a lot of people, a lot of companies that are bigger than us, you know, and they're busy doing big things, you know, and they have college kids that are there interacting as the company. But when 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 you get something from protocol, it's either Bill, myself, or Kevin and Tristan. Yeah. So, you know, it's a, it's a full-time job sometimes. Just, you know, always you open it up, you see somebody posting your cigar, and you want to say thank you. You, you know, it's just... It's a, like the same the same reason for this podcast is actually just to increase consumer uh, relations, consumer uh, uh, contact, just, uh, engagement is the word I want to and say. And listen to Juan yeah. bumble around. Yes, trying to find it to say. All right, let's see what else we got here. Uh, what's the what's the m- minute mark? Are we still doing good? We're still doing good. We're at twenty seven minutes. Oh, right not now. bad. It's not bad at yeah, all. We're good. Uh, I guess we'll talk a little bit about, about some upcoming events that we have coming up for you guys that are out there in the in, in the world. Uh, on Thursday, January 30th, Kevin and I are going to be at Smoking Joe's in Maho Pack. Did I say that right? Maho Pack. Maho Pack. Um, Maho Pack, New York. Yeah. Up there with uh, Gary and those and that whole uh, Ash Head group down yeah, there. Great yes, guys. Ash Heads. The Ash Heads are awesome guys. Those guys have actually supported this company from day one when we had that first event these guys came down there and it's a, basically it's a real cool uh cigar group based out of there like that uh, uh upstate kind of new york uh northern new york area up there by yonkers westchester up there real good group of guys you can check them out uh uh they're uh, uh ash heads um great group of guys they have a really cool logo so this is their headquarters this is their you know their their home away from home so it's our second time at an event there and we're going to do some special deals for those guys it's going to be real exciting that's going to be from 5 p.m until whenever and then uh for the first time ever i'm going to be in oklahoma city yes yes on thursday february 6th starting at 5 p.m so puro cigar house stag whiskey bar and Omerta Cigar Company up there in Oklahoma City. So if any of you guys are up there in Oklahoma, it'll be the first time I'm going to be in that state. It's going to be quick in and out, big ops, boom. I'm going to get there, take out everybody, boom, and then come back home. So it's going to be the... Uh, I got you a late flight back, so you can have some fun. Yeah, There's I'm going to have an hours a, event. It's going to... It looks yeah, like I, it's... I think I'm, it's I'm be, sad I can't go. It's going to be nice. It looks like it's going to be... the play, I Google the places. They're amazing. Like, the shop is amazing. And the Stag Whiskey Bar, they got over 200 whiskeys and a few single barrel selections there and over 70 spirit. Like, it's, the place is amazing. I, I, I got to do a shout out to our rep, Brad Weidenhammer, on this one. He Brad. created, a, he created a rela- He's our PA rep, but he comes to uh, IPCPR, PCA with us. And <clears throat> he created a relationship with these guys, his first show, and... We gave him the account. Um, never, I never had to interact with the account. He handled everything, took all the orders, and we shipped them out. And uh, they put in a really good order. Um, wanted Juan to come out, and it made a lot of sense to do so. So we're not going to just be online with those guys, but we'll also be in the brick and mortar. Feeding and, Hammer. Yeah, it looks like they're rolling out the red carpet for Juan, picking it up at the airport, yeah, which is really nice. So. The, yeah, but the, shout the, out to Brad on that, the guy, that account. Jarrett said he was going to show awesome. me some Oklahoma hospitality. Yeah. So. 
Yeah. Isn't uh, Wiedenhammer German for sexy? I think it is. It is. <laughs> Wiedenhammer. Yeah. Beard, Wiedenhammer, bearded and sexy. sexy he exemplifies yes. sexiness. Yes. Yes. That's what I think it means. Yes. Yeah. yeah. No, but that that I'm really really excited about that, and you know, Brad's Brad's killing it with that account. Well, Brad's doing good all over the place. The guy's beard. doing really well. I think that beard gives him a lot of uh, power. A lot of carb, a lot of confidence when he walks in yes. a room owning that beard. And he wears skinny jeans now. Him yes. is, he's like 170 <laughs> pounds soaking uh, wet. I think he's like one. He just told us at Caravan the other day he was like 160 something. Wow, he's, he's 160. Down there. Yeah, he's down there. I got to work on the packs. Oh, and uh, one one event in between. Uh, we will be at CI 191 February 1st. Speaking of CI, right here. Yeah, that's right. right here. Are you going to be there with us, Johnny, the whole I day? I will be there. That's going to be, be working, an yeah. awesome, awesome day. So yeah. February 1st, Protocol and Eric Espinoza will be at CI 191 when the tickets go on sale for the biggest event nationwide CI Cigar Fest. Am I correct? Yes. And just a T- heads up, this year them. it's uh, something different. Plug that in. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, CI actually went to Eventbrite. So make sure you get on there, um, get your account, and that's how they're going to be doing tickets this year. So and don't waste any time because... Oh, they sell in two minutes once they yeah, go Yeah, I said it, it would take you longer to cut and light this cigar than it will to get you know the, for the tickets to sell out that's how fast it goes uh, i will say if you are at 191 and i've stood in that line to attend as a consumer you will get a ticket yeah so if you want to bring it's probably going to be cold i mean it's been freezing here right now so i don't know what the weather is going to be like on the first but i'm sure it's going to be chilly um people camp out people yeah. want to be first in line but if you're in line uh before i think they go online at like one or two um yep. but if you're in line you gotta brave the cold weather you will get a ticket. It's supposed to be sure more streamlined, and this Eventbrite is supposed to help out, too. Oh, good. And uh, But that's the one thing that we've been telling the people that call the uh, uh, the shop is, you know, get Eventbrite because that's what it's going to be on because you got to pre – got to sign in first. So when you come in that day, if you're not in, you're out. Uh, you have to have that Eventbrite. Wow, we're getting it here for I did not know yes. that. Yeah, you got to have the event. Breaking right. news yeah, on breaking Protocol news. Live. And mm-hmm. if you mm-hmm. if you just want to come down and hang out with Eric Espinosa and the Protocol guys, crew, Johnny will be there. Um, you can. You don't have to be in line for a ticket. You can walk into the shop. There'll be deals on uh, Espinosa cigars throughout the store. We got Protocol in there. Come hang out with us. I know they they do a nice uh, thing at 191. It's BYOB. So if yeah. you want to bring a bottle or you know a six pack of beer, come hang out with us. And you know, you need thing. to stay warm in we line. We got a bunch. Tin cup. Of, we got a bunch. Of, uh, we got some bundles uh, still of the. Uh, Confidential informant. Oh, yes. I love it. Yes. Great, great marketing we did yes. for that. Yes. That was a great video we did. That was actually a lot of fun, Johnny. You were. Uh, that was a blast. You were man. Johnny. What was your, What was the name of the jo- Johnny was, Smokes? Johnny Smokes. <laughs> Johnny, Johnny Smokes. Smokes. That was yeah. a great. That was a good time doing that, and a, uh, that was a great cigar. And bunch of hashtags. They haven't put it online yet, right? Mm. The, the, no, it's not yet. I don't know. I don't that's, know if they were going to. They talked about it. Yeah, that's above my pay grade. Yeah. I think. I think they're just letting <laughs> it go through the stores right now. So when they sell out, they sell out. I don't think they have many left. No, I, I, no. I, I didn't hear that. I saw my many. brother smoking one today at Hamburg. They were available yet, so. We just refilled the single box. You know, we, we opened one pack for people who just want to try singles, and we were just oh, nice. talking about it yesterday. I worked last night, and we, I said, oh, I should have took a picture of that and showed you guys. Hey, they're selling. Good. So you got to try. That's awesome. Great Hopefully uh, CI decides to make it a uh, regular production available you know, exclusively at their shops all the time. But as of right now, it's only that 500 bundles, and whatever's left now is all that's there. Yeah. So we'll see about that. Figure it out. Anything else before we make our big announcement? Yeah, Juan, you're shaking like that earthquake in Puerto Rico I'm right sorry. now. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Too funny. What else do we have on the docket, guys? Um, we recap we, Fat Ash Bash. We, we, we talked about everything. We said, talked about uh, everything. You got all your notes down? We did everything. Anybody want to add anything? Tristan? Stay beautiful. Johnny, is this your first time at the, uh, the studio? Or no, actually, this is the third or fourth time I've okay, been, so here, been here. A few times. But the only time I've been behind here, I was actually, uh, Brad was on with here with Dax the one time. When you guys went live, I remember. And uh, they, oh, yeah, you guys, called, was... come on back, come on back. So I came back and said, I think we everyone. deleted that. That was a Facebook so, only. Yeah, yeah. Big <laughs> shout out to Brad and Dax, by the way. Yes. You know those guys with the fat ash. Uh, another great, tremendous, phenomenal 
uh, extraordinary cigar group called the Fat Ash. There's the couch. I don't know. Yes. The casting like couch I was no, referring was, I think to this earlier. was what Tristan was referring to. But yes, if it's we empty. had people in studio. We could show them now. Yeah, yes. yes. That is what I was referring to. Yes, got you. Yeah. But you know what? I actually have one more thing I wanted to add. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's, um, it's not 100% yet. Okay. But you know how Fat Ash does their, uh, like this month is protocol. Right. There is a chance, and it's looking pretty good, that CI191 will be February's Ooh, sponsor. That'd be c- You very heard it cool. here first. Breaking news. It's Breaking just, news. It's the second it's, time. It's not yeah. 100% yet, but it is, let's say, highly possible. And Would you say 85%? I, yeah, I'd say 85. We'll Ooh, go 85. That's so. nice. Right. Wow, John is really well, the confidential since we are, mm-hmm. when, Since we are the sponsor this month, uh, Juan, I will say that I do have um, some ashtrays, some of the big blue uh, lighters. Some of you have seen, some of you have purchased. We're going to give some of those away. I want to thank everybody in the Fat Ash group. And you guys have yeah. been posting like crazy, man. I got to go Insane. on there. And, and, yeah. you know, I try to interact as much as I can with you guys, but you guys are doing a great job you know, supporting us and posting us. It's pretty amazing, man. It's pretty... Uh, it's humbling. It's very humbling. It's yeah. just we thank you and appreciate you from the bottom of our, of our hearts. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, you guys, you guys rock. So we're gonna make sure that we get you know some owner sizes out to you guys for the winners and yeah, we're gonna do uh, some nice some, stuff. Some, mm. Yeah, show some nice appreciation. Stuff. You got, we really do love the Fat Ash guys. You, you came and, out to Fat Ash Bash and supported Protocol. We make you know obviously the the Fat Ash 3.0 and. Uh, we can't thank you all enough. That that was a big honor to to be the sponsor in in January. So we'll take care of the winners. What's that for, Trista? What? I was pointing at both our fat ashes. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. You're wearing the sweatshirt. It's nice. Yes. Yes. Nice. I my sweatshirt. I got the stolen. fair warning <laughs> from my boy. Hey, fair warning. There's two fat ashes Ops. right here. Hey, uh, B. Lou, and the favorite daughter. <laughs> Kevin Lewis. <laughs> uh, I'll Sexy. tell you. Hey, uh, funny note. Kevin Lewis, Alan, and I. That's right. Went I was snowboarding last story. Saturday. Talk and, about it. Oh, it was my first time out uh, this year. And we had a great time. Um, all three of us can snowboard. Uh, Kevin Lewis can snowboard and do 360s in the air, which wow. we were um, yes. very impressed with. He. He knows how to ride, that guy. But it was just cool going with, <laughs> Yes, he uh, does. <laughs> I try to run away from the cold. These guys go play in yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, we were not cold. It was awesome. So we, we had a really pretty good, good huh? time. Yeah, he is unreal on a snowboard. 360s. Yeah. yeah, I was trying to get him out this Saturday, but it looks like uh, Zach uh, Miller and I are just going to be going out. So, Another uh, thank you to, uh, I think we made about six different lists this year, different, our different cigars, man. It was just thank you out there to the... Uh, the general uh, cigar media, the collective cigar media, you know, really supported us. Uh, it was awesome. Thank you for uh, for you guys, and thank you for all the guys that are out there just posting our cigars. And, and they, so many great cigars in any humidor, and you guys pick our cigars and you post them, and you, you know, that's why we always try to repost, comment. And we just want to show our appreciation. Thank you. <laughs> and on that note, I think we should do our uh, talk a little bit about our big announcement. So. Uh, I've been making jokes about people doing uh, press releases about that they're going to the PCA. So I was like, if you're going to go anyway, you know, why put out a press release? Because it's just status quo, business as usual. It's like me putting out a press release that I'm going to go make a sandwich. But <laughs> some people liked that. Some people didn't. But that was just kind of making, you know, a little hu- humor to the whole room. But you like creating controversy. I yes, it. I like a little bit of phoniness. <laughs> anyway, so uh, our big announcement, we're not going to do a press release. But the big announcement is I'll let you, Kevin, say it to- about our, 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 our replace in uh, PCA. Kevin, tell him. <laughs> we, as protocol, will be attending PCA 2020. We will be there. We will be there. Tristan will be there, too. Tristan will be Maybe there. Maybe Johnny. Johnny, you think any chance of you making it over there? I was there last year. You so were? But what do you later. think? What do you think? What I, are you, you know thinking? what? It's me and Vegas go hand in hand, babe. Me, Vegas, and Dean Martin. Yes. And my Manhattan, which I'm making another one. Were you there for the, uh, when we went to that, uh, what was that restaurant? Yes. <laughs> Don't re- wait. What was it called again? Uh, <laughs> uh, the Golden Steer. The Golden Steer, where the Rat Pack used to hang out. Yeah, I oh, was you there. Know, you know I the know. story. <laughs> yeah. Good times. This that was, was a time. segue into my testicles getting busted 
<laughs> on camera. <laughs> Let's just say the J train derailed. <laughs> he, he, I do remember that. He pulled a he pulled a wand cast Somebody, out. So the J train was doing about 120 miles an hour oh. on the track, and then somebody hit the emergency that was the fir- that the was emergency the first day you break. To Vegas. That was yeah. the first day. Somebody hit that emergency so break, and it was like, yeah. oh, it you just boom. Well, let's just you let's derailed. Just, let's just say this. I that was the same day I got there. So you, I dis- landed. you disappeared for a little while, right? I landed. Mm-hmm. I was out getting crazy, and then it's everyone Vegas. decided let's do dinner. And in true form, I didn't eat a thing, nothing until dinner. Well, by that time, when you have say four Manhattans in you, right? And then of course. Few wines. Yes. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're sitting in the parking lot, ready to pass the hell out. And I'll just leave it at that. Let's just say the J train good hit times. the wall. Yes, it derailed. That's right. Oh God. We we had a good time at a club uh, with Kevin Lewis again. Oh, that down oh, in Miami. God. Yes, the J train. He knows how to party in Vegas a, and Miami. Let Miami, me tell you. we hit that club. Yeah. And bolet it, or whatever it was. It was like yeah. bolet. Uh, I don't know, but the uh, creme brulee. Yeah, yeah. Creme, creme brulee. Yeah. But it was insane that you know they brought out the uh, those what it was like expensive bottles with sparkles coming out. So when God knows how much they were a bottle, we oh, my we stuck to our Manhattans. Yeah. And uh, guess what? You, you got to drive it. the F one fifty. I right. did, yeah. In sport yeah. mode, if you know John. He uh, in has the, the streets F-150. of my, of my downtown <laughs> Miami. Miami. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. This guy thought it was a good idea. Let's go out. I'm bringing the F one fifty lounge, so I had to drive. If it you guys don't know, that, 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 that thing is like a tank. Like, <laughs> like, mm-hmm. Yeah. It actually drives amazing. I had a rental because I hit a deer uh, with my Audi, and I had a rental F one fifty. I felt right at home. The, I was like, oh, I can drive it through Miami. I can drive it through New Jersey. <laughs> Kevin, I have the best luck with cars, Kaithen. Yes, I do have the best luck of cars. Blew a motor, hit a deer. Yes. Wreck, wrecked my, well, somebody hit me from behind, wrecked my car. Yeah, I've, Wife I've, blew a turbo. <laughs> yeah, my wife blew the turbos, then the motor. Yeah, we've, we've. All in three months. Yeah, all in three months. Yeah, you've been keeping track, Tristan. Yeah, that's Love what it. I'm here for. <laughs> yes. Juan, what about the quick food segment? Have we had any good food lately? Like I posted last it. time was like, you know, crazy I, about the food, and now I, this segment, we're not I talking about food. I did say I was going to start. I'm going to start, po- I, you know, I, I've been taking pictures of when we go out, and I've started posting, like the other day I posted pictures of sushi. Mm. Jasmine. <laughs> sushi. Jasmine. Mm-mm. Sorry. Getting over that was cold. the day you were sick, and you were like, yeah, I'm going to lay low. I'm not feeling well. And that, then you, but so Jasmine's the, right next for to those house, people, so For those people that, that are in the social media world, I, wanna, I was dying of, of a cold at home, and I basically posted an old picture. Oh, so is that what you did? That's exactly what I did. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's oh, what it was. Me, oh, you nah, had me I was, I was, I, As I was <laughs> posting that piece, the picture of sushi, I was actually drinking some some uh, chicken soup and some tea. <laughs> but, yeah. uh, it was that mercury poisoning you got from it. Yeah, but uh, you know, yeah. So we want to do more uh, food stuff. Actually, you know what we lost a good opportunity missed when we went to uh, Key and Steakhouse. We should have taken a lot of more pictures, but we were just I had busy. A bunch. Having a good time. Like to, uh, see, this is why I, was, I suck on social media because I I would you would have loved my it. Oh. my whole thing is I want to enjoy the experience and I want to be on my phone taking pictures of the experience. But I get it. But it would have been good because the, the the food was actually if you guys and we mentioned this before, but this restaurant man, Keen Steakhouse, one of the oldest steakhouses in New York. Uh, we actually did some research. Is the number two in the nation and the number one being one in Tampa called Burn, mm-hmm. right? But this Keen man does. You got to have the mutton chop, man. The freaking mm. porterhouses are awesome. It's just amazing. It's just really good, good, good food. Yeah, that was really good. We had a good dinner tonight. It was, a great... it was just an Italian pizza joint, but still good right near yeah. sunny Newark, New Jersey. I remember, I was uh, <laughs> telling someone a story about the uh, the Italian food that time. It was one of my first times here. And I don't know where we were before, but we were at the we, sandbar. The sandbar. <laughs> Needless to say, we sandbar. were feeling pretty good. Uh, and. <laughs> I was starving. I think I and slept here that I night. think that's when your... Didn't your wife go get the food? Yeah, she did, yeah. yeah. And it was... Yeah. That whole table was filled out there, and I felt like a goddamn dog. <laughs> oh, yeah, they, <laughs> they do a good job, and it's nice that it's close. You know what they just opened up like a block away from here is a, a, a brewery. Yeah, yeah. We got to check that out. Maybe we'll yeah, do like... Yeah, but it, like, it's just a brewery, so it's not like Is it food. cool you at just, all? Uh, I mean, I've seen pictures of it. Just, I mean, we all like alcohol, I, right? Yeah, I know, but, but it's I'd just rather, beer, though. It's just beer. Like he's on I'll, keto. So. I'll go for one beer, and that's it. Right? You know, maybe yeah. we just check it out. Maybe take do a, a flight pictures. of beers and whatever. Yeah, maybe do a flight. Cheeto. 
It's not like we can smoke cigars in there. I'd rather oh, just if you did, get a couple awesome. of growlers and come back to the office and yeah, hang out. That's not a bad idea. Know? So. All right. All right. On that note, thank you for uh, checking in uh, checking in on us. Uh, episode 8, I in think, was a success in the books. And yes. thank you, everybody. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Hit it, everybody. Maestro. All right. Episode 8 done. Like, share, subscribe. Do what you want to do. Hey, put our peas.